Sometimes trouble just occurs when you least expect it. It's not like we go out there and try to start trouble. We're just going out and have a good time. But it kind of follows us. So one particular 4th of July, wife and I, we go to small town Iowa to just to enjoy a parade. We meet the grandkids and my kids, and we're collecting the candy and all the free koozies they throw out. Oh, you can never have too many free koozies. Wife disagrees with me on that one, but come on, fellas. You gotta back me up. You're never gonna have too many free koozies. So after the parade, we visit with some friends that we meet along the way. We head on up to the midway, take the grandkids up and stepson, and we go enjoy the carnival rides and the games and all the food that's up there. And like we tell the grandkids and stepson, if you get separated from us, go to the Ferris wheel, the biggest ride on the midway, we'll eventually find you. That was old standby. Because, you know, it does get crowded. And you can't get separated. So just go there and wait. Someone will eventually come and look for you. Maybe a little while, but don't worry. We'll get you. Anyway, back to the story. Well, we were going on this ride. It was the swings. The old metal chain ones, if you remember them. Well, we put the grandkids on there, and they were going round and round and round. And it was a hot day. It was probably about 95, 100 degrees out. And a couple of the grandkids weren't too enthused about going on these chain rides. But they were making the best of it. And we were waving at them, taking our pictures and everything. The ride got over. Like most of the rides, carnival worker would get done, walk over, unchain them. And they'd run back over the parents, grandparents, whoever the kids were with. And they'd go on to the next ride or game, whatever they were doing that day. Well, this particular carnival worker just sat there. So it seemed like a long wait. Probably wasn't that long. I finally said, hey, you going to get the kids off? And this lady said, look, I'm eating my funnel cake. So you just wait there a minute, scrawny, and I'll eventually get the kids off. And I looked at the wife. The wife looked at me. I said, did she just say scrawny to me she goes yeah she called you scrawny i said hey ma'am it's hot out can you go get the kids off or i'll get them off she goes listen here chicken legs i told you i'm eating my funnel cake i'll get them off in a damn minute i said baby hold my snow cone i said large marge enjoy your funnel cake i'll do your job for you so i jumped the fence and I no more got over the fence, and she pulled out, I don't know what it was, a conch shell? You know, the big old shells you see on the movies, or a horn? And this noise went off, went, rawr, rawr. And three people, three or four people come running. Billy from the bounce house came running. Tommy from the tilt-a-whirl, he's a tweaker. This old man and his wife beater, 95 year old old on this rascal scooter, swinging a cane at me and three tooth willy came running and i'm unchaining the grandkids and handing them over the little fence to the wife and other parents have joined in taking their kids off because you know they're kind of pissed off at the time too and she's still eating her funnel cake just screaming at me screaming at the other parents you guys can't be in here we got rules well do your damn job then lady so as i'm handing the kids over Three tooth willies leaning up against the fence, and I swear to God, he's hitting on my wife, which I can't blame him. She's a good looking lady. As I hand the last grandkid over to my wife, I'm listening to Willie talk to her. And he's sitting there and he goes, Hey, lady, you sure got a lickable tan. And I'm going, What the hell did he just say? You sure do got a lickable tan. And without a beat, my wife said back to him, Well, you sure got one shiny tooth. And I just started laughing. And I'm going, Willie, what the hell did you just say to my wife? She's got a lickable tan? He goes, Yeah. No, 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 Willie. You're not licking my wife. Well, it sure does look tasty. No, no, no. You're not licking my wife. Go back to the balloon pop 
or the ring toss, wherever he came from, that's not happening today. And Large Marge is still coming after me, yelling, look at here, chicken legs. You can't be in here. I'm going to sit on you if you don't get out. What the hell is going on here? All I want is my grandkids back so we can go on to the next damn ride. Why does this stuff happen to us? Can anybody tell us why this always happens to us wherever we go? That's why I carry bail money. I swear, that's why I carry bail money. We go out to have a good time, and things like this just happen. We don't plan this, but it happens to us every single time we go. But it makes it a good, interesting day. The kids were having fun. So we get all said and done. Willie goes on his way. Well, Willie kind of stopped us the rest of the day. But Billy from the bounce house, he went back. Tweaker went back. The old man, he, gave, he offered me a drag off his Pall Mall cigarette. He was kind of kind of sad that he, uh, or sorry that he took a swing at me with his cane. But Marge, she was kind of pissed the rest of the day. Every time I walked by, by her, she gave me a dirty look. But the kids, guess what they wanted? They wanted funnel cakes. I don't like funnel cakes. To this day, I still don't like funnel cakes. But anyway, that was our adventure at the Midway that day. We had a good time, but it was hot. So, next time, stay away from Marge. She's not a very nice lady. But have a good time. Everybody's there for your entertainment. Sometimes you're there for their entertainment. Till next time. Much love to y'all.